Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cobra, and welcome to a slightly different video. Today we're talking about the privileged message intent the Discord announced about a week or so ago. So you may remember, I think it was about last September, October roughly, uh, Discord introduced the the presence intent and the members intent. And these were designed to restrict access to certain parts of Discord unless you got verification from Discord and also provided a suitable reason why you actually needed those systems. However, when those came out, it wasn't a hugely big deal. You know, most bots don't deal with presences and the members intent, it didn't really do an awful lot. So not a huge amount of bots were actually majorly affected by this. However, this time it's different because as of April 2022, basically every bot on Discord is going to be affected in one way or another. This comes alongside the new initiative of using slash commands and interactions to do most of the stuff. And it also comes, you know, with privacy um, reasons as well, which I sort of agree with in a sense, but I'll, I'll get to my opinions on this a little bit later. Um, but essentially this video is just going to be, you know, what's actually changing, what the message intent even does, and how you can make the changes to your bot to actually accommodate it. Of course, if you found this video helpful, consider like it to let me know and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like it. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's talk about the privileged message intent. So before we actually start talking about what is going to be changing, I want to talk about who is going to be affected and when they're going to be affected. So the only people this will affect are people with verified bots or people that are planning to verify their bots. So this includes like any bot that's in a hundred or more servers or I suppose more specifically any bot with a tick on it. So to clarify this does not affect non-verified bots so if you only build single server bots or even only have one single server bot then you're not going to be affected by this. So this change is going to be happening in the April of 2022. We don't know exactly when, I'm just presuming it's going to be the 1st of April, but it could be any day within the month, I don't know. So at least Discord is giving people a decent amount of time to actually make the changes. It's, what, I don't know, like nine months or something. So that's not too bad, it could have been worse. So the actual changes affect what the bots can actually read in terms of messages. So they can see when a message was sent, where a message was sent and who a message was sent by but bots without this message intent cannot read the message content see any message embeds or see any message attachments however it was later decided i think this happened a few days ago that bots will still be able to read direct messages presumably because any direct message you send to a bot is going to have the direct purpose of interacting with the bot in some way and so, you know, there isn't really any privacy risks there. And privacy is the big words here because that is the reason they're making these changes. And to an extent, I agree with that. You know, there are a lot of people on Discord and there are a lot of people on Discord that don't mean well. And they might make bots to try and scan for, you know, explicit images or particularly, I don't know, some sort of messages, I don't know. But this message intent will prevent those bots from being able to do that, and I am all for that. And I did say I was partly in favour of it, and that's because of something that I alluded to in the intro, where they're making the move towards slash commands and interactions. Now, interactions are, you know, buttons, drop downs, uh, menus, all that stuff, and I am totally in favour of interactions. Interactions are great, they are just generally really well implemented, they work fine, they are a far better alternative than you know like reaction emojis uh, that people have been using in the past and interactions I'm perfectly fine with. However I have the same concerns with slash commands as a lot of people. The feature was originally implemented in a rushed state. It wasn't finished at all. It still isn't finished today and they're already saying that they're gonna make the move no take backsies which is you know a bit mm. On top of that slash commands are completely unfit for purpose at this time as you can only pass one argument to any command invoked with a slash command. So basically any command that's even slightly more complicated than play this track or you know clear this number of messages is going to be affected by this because you can't say ban a member with a reason or you can't kick multiple members at once it's just one single argument and I have no idea if Discord are actually going to do anything about that. If someone does know if Discord are planning uh, multi-argument slash commands, do let me know in the comments. I really hope they are, and I wouldn't be surprised if they are. Um, but 
you know, there is also the possibility that they're trying to just aim for a more simplistic style of bot. In terms of library support for these features, I'm pretty sure most libraries have them to some capacity at this point. I know Discord.js does. I know Discord.py has them, but I just don't know to what extent. I know Hikari has them, you know, they're largely supported. I don't know an awful lot about Discord.js's release schedule, but I know that Discord.py and Hikari only have this functionality in the alpha builds or the development builds at the moment. You know, the general rule of thumb is that development builds and alpha builds are for testing only. You're not really supposed to use these in production. You know, because of this deadline, April 2022, you know, people are using these versions in production and trying, you know, rush these features out in time. Because, you know, the Hakari stable isn't expected until November 2021. Discord.py stable, I don't think has an ETA yet, so I'm not expecting that to come out this side of 2022. So, you know, time is limited. And the problem is Discord's rushed these features out to begin with, and now they are making all these developers rush you know to make all these changes and talk about these changes they're not small changes that people have to make a lot of bots are going to have to be completely rewritten or at least fairly significantly restructured to you know make all this stuff work slash commands and interactions don't work the same as normal commands and you know uh, reaction emoji things. I know reaction emoji things aren't being supported anymore, but you know, interactions are obviously the way they're trying to push these things. But my point really is that the whole ethos behind this is that so many bots are going to have to be, you know, entirely rewritten, and a lot of people aren't going to want to do that because there is a lot of people that are, that have huge, huge bots, um, that are like I don't know, like fifty thousand lines of code. That is an enormous project to try and rewrite that. So a lot of bots are also going to be just completely discontinued as well. I mean, of course, there is the possibility that a bot might get the privileged message intent, um, in which case it would be completely fine. You know, no rewrite necessary, no anything, you know, your bot will be fine. But of course you have to get the privileged message intent. And Discord haven't really said what is going to you know, pass the verification because you have to explain why you need it. They haven't bothered saying, you know, what reasons are acceptable. You know, a decent amount of bots aren't necessarily going to need this uh, feature. You know, a lot of them are just command based. I can see that. If slash commands get multi-argument and sub-command support, then sure, okay, the, the whole situation of prefixes would be a bit annoying, but it would be a good compromise to ensure the privacy of Discord's users. But at the same time, there are certain systems that need this, like a profanity filter. You know, not everyone knows how to build a bot, so they would invite a bot from a different server. An example is Atlas. I used to use it before I built bots. That has a profanity filter built in, as do a lot of other bots. Are bots with profanity filters going to be allowed through? Are bots that only have profanity filters going to be allowed through? A profanity filter is just going to be, you know, limited to single server use like no one has really said and this is the thing like i can see discord's reasoning entirely but it just kind of feels a little bit rushed in my opinion and it feels like they're just trying to move along a little too quickly with you know systems that haven't been fully implemented yet that are probably still going to change as time goes on a lot of people are making these changes in alpha versions of libraries which are going to have breaking change after breaking change after breaking change you know bots are going to be quite broken for the next few months i think um and obviously some bots including my own multi-server bot solaris are going to be discontinued though to be fair this whole message intent was more the final nail in the coffin rather than you know the whole reason it's being shut down but you know you get the idea but you know opinions aside this is happening so the things you need to remember are if you're not planning to get your bot verified or if it's just like a single server bot or it's only in like a few friend servers or whatever you don't need to worry about this it's also important to remember that you're not being disallowed from seeing messages at all if you have an activity system then you really only do need to see who sent the message, um, when they sent it, and if you already have experience systems in particular channels, where they sent it, and you know, experience systems will continue to work just fine. However, it is also important to note that if you do have any sort of interaction with the bot or any sort of complicated commands, you are probably going to have to rewrite a good chunk of the bot. And I personally would say, you know, if you have any like extremely complicated commands that are just like a lot of different arguments all in one, then I would say turn it into sort of like a GUI kind of thing using the interactions rather than bothering, 
you know, building this command line interface for it again, because there really isn't much of a point in my opinion. I think that's sort of another reason why Discord are doing this, to try and kind of go in that direction. And I'm sort of on board with that in a way, you know, interactions and the menus that they're making are nice. Um, so I can see why, but uh, yeah, either way, it is going to be a good old rewrite if you want to make your Discord bot again. So that's really all the major information that we have at the moment. I will leave links to different articles that Discord have released in the description for you to kind of look through it in detail, because obviously this video doesn't cover every single thing that they've talked about. It covers, you know, the main you know, important basics, I suppose. But yeah, if you do have any questions about this, then feel free to leave them in the comments below, or you can join the Discord server using the link in the description. You know, there are a lot of Discord bot developers in there. They're all in the same boat as you, so, you know, you can have a good old rant about it if you want. I'd also like to thank my amazing patrons on the screen now, one pound a month, and you can be on that screen too. And I will see you later for some more How to Python stuff. If you're interested, I've got an upcoming Discord bot series, you know, an updated one coming the best guess is about December slash January. Um, so it might be a little too late for you. I'm sorry, I'm waiting for stable releases and stuff to come out. Um, but you know, if you are interested, then consider subscribing so you don't miss that when it comes out. But yeah, I'll hopefully see you in another video.